Okay, I have some pork loin back ribs, which I picked up. I rinsed them out and cut them up. Look at, I just want to show you how cheap. I mean, you can find things, look at, 233. Before I throw it out, I just wanted to show you. <laughs> so look at that. We got nice, uh, some uh, with bone, so bone marrow, and we're gonna cook them up. I'm gonna saute it a little bit while I'm waiting for the stove to warm up. I'm chopping up an onion. Four to five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Let it saute there. Put your water to boil. Okay, so I'm using a fresh onion, but I have my frozen vegetables. That's why I love it when I have everything frozen. I don't have to rush and chop. I have peppers. I have uh, different color of peppers, and I have uh, celery and carrots in here. And I'm gonna put onions. And you're gonna need roasted garlic and pepper. If you have fresh mint, go ahead. But this is from uh, my daughter's garden. And uh, oregano, turmeric, and Mrs. Dash. So, I got my teaspoon, a teaspoon of each. Tur turmeric, we're only doing a half a teaspoon. So only a half. Okay, and I have my kidney beans, white kidney beans, and any kind of sauce. If you have fresh tomatoes or any anything, um, you could just use. So I'm gonna put this in my blender, and I'm gonna rinse my kidney beans with cold water. Okay, my meat uh, sauteed a little bit, and I like to put my onions now. Saute the onions with the meat. And I have my stove at number four. I'm gonna add my vegetables, saute them a little bit together. You can add as much as vegetables as you like. So we wanna make it nice and healthy, right? So there we go. We'll get our spices ready now. I put a teaspoon of each. I stopped at the turmeric just to show you. Half a teaspoon. So keep sauteing. Look how nice it is. See? It's nice to do with the bones because you get the marrow from the bones, all the juice, all oh, so healthy for you. So this is very, very healthy. And you have your beans, you have your vegetables. Well, of course, uh, I'm gonna put my garlic. <laughs> so, so this is really, really healthy. In Greece, we, I remember my grandma used to make twice a week beans. We were lucky to get some uh, bones in there. And look at all the meat here too. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, now you can see everything is absorbed. All the water from the frozen vegetables is starting to sizzle. It's time for our garlic. Garlic you can put as much as you like. If you have fresh, Again, go ahead. We want simple things. And saute that together. While we are sauteing, we're going to add our spices. Now this, we measure so then this way you can add as much as you like. Now I know how much I like. I like everything. <laughs> You can put slowly, slowly to your taste. 
Now wait until you start smelling your gut. Oh, right away. Oh my God. The garlic, the spices, everything blending together. You have your hot water ready. And away we go. Simple, eh? Now you can see the nice color. Look at the nice color. So you know that everything is blended in. And you see? Look at that. That's all the juice and all the vitamins from the meat, from the vegetables, your spices. So now, look at that. Beautiful, eh? You can just eat it like that. <laughs> now, we have our tomato. So I'm putting half. I put. I always put it in my blender. I don't like the chunks. If you like the chunks, you can, you can do it. Now mix everything together. And I'm gonna go get my water. Oh yeah, look at that sauce. Beautiful. Now everything is blended, you can see, eh? There we go, now I have my hot water. I'm gonna put half a pot. It's usually one uh, kettle here. The whole kettle goes in for me. And let it boil. Put the lid on. Once it starts boiling, I like to put some bay leaf. See you in a half an hour, we'll check it out. Okay, it's 35 minutes, but it's not ready yet, the meat. I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes. Now, if you see that there's not enough water and you need to add, always boil your water. Okay, so I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes. I want the meat to be extra soft. Okay, it's an hour now. So just take a fork and check your meat. See, it's good. So now, make it more healthy. I got some chopped spinach here. I'm gonna put two and I have washed my beans put my beans in there now like I said if you need more water put hot okay so this needs about another 15 minutes to 20 minutes Give it a nice mix in there. Oh, nice spinach, everything so healthy. Cheap and healthy. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, eh? Okay, after about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, you check. I tasted it for, if it needs anything else, you can put. Mine is good, I already tasted it. The meat is ready, the beans are ready. And now, finish touch, parsley. Again, if you have fresh, go ahead. But you know I like my frozen now. Especially with what's happening. We can't go out all the time. Stay home, stay home. So there you go. Now I'm going to shut it. And we're ready to serve. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at that. So healthy for you. And the thing is, you can even freeze it. But it's, believe me, it's not going to last for freezing. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what, the only thing missing is my olives. What we serve it with. So, no olives today. Hot pepper. Of course, see? It's a Greek thing. You have to have feta cheese, peppers, and olives, and something hot all the time. But I'm not going to the store. I ran out now. 
and a nice uh, loaf of hot bread. But, uh, you know, this diet thing. Now we have the whole grain here, multi-grain, <laughs> which is good. This is, look at, nice and healthy. See, look at that, all the grains. So that's what we're going to serve it with. Time to serve. Oh, delicious. Oh yeah, my peppers are on my channel, if you want. Now, this is your choice, right? If you want hot, then you put it in. If you don't, you don't have to. So, enjoy. Always eat it in good health. Don't forget to subscribe, and God bless.